hotel for us. Because we weren't there when David had to pack it up, we're not quite sure how he took it apart. So this is going to be uh, interesting. He literally cut it in half. Do you want me to close these curtains so nobody can see in the room? Yeah. I just now thought of that because we're like right by the elevators. I don't want anybody else seeing what we're doing. It's supposed to be a big surprise. It's a, it's the whole pageant mom thing. We all want to surprise each other. Nobody wants to say what the other one is doing. It's hard to actually let Emily help me. I'm used to doing things myself. Okay, first of all, is that little tiny piece well, going to do me any good? Well, let me see. But this is her prop, so I feel like you know she should be a part of this to help put it together. That good? Yeah. So I'm letting her. We just got to the hotel. Just do it in a hurry, Jordan. And there is still lots for us to do. I do love going to hotels for pageants. It is like a mini vacation. You laid out my jammies for me? And your clothes for tomorrow. And my clothes for tomorrow? You're awesome, Jordan. I know. Now I gotta call Debbie Ty. Debbie Ty is gonna be tanning Jordan for the pageant tomorrow. Debbie, this is Jeannie Adcox. If you just could just give me a call back and let me know what room you're in and what time you would like to tan Jordan. Uh, my number is 828. Tanning the competition. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you've tanned competition before. Oh, yeah. But it's kind of funny they call it. And you're pretty much the only one that's tanning. I am the only one here that's tanning. <laughs> they want to tan, they got to go to me. They so have where to. Where are we going to this room? Right now. Come on. Well, you need to get ready for tanning. Go ahead and put your bathing suit on and a, and a T-shirt. When I first told Jordan about Debbie Ty tanning her, Jordan was a little reluctant. Okay. I don't really have an opinion about Debbie Ty. I haven't never met her, so I guess I'll just have to wait and see. We have got to find some way to hide this rather large prop. <laughs> Tonight, now that I've, I'm tanning other kids that are actually competition for Emily, I've got the panic of my prop now. So now we're gonna add dash to cover it up. She's fixing the blanket so nobody can see the prop. Right here. She's here. Back in just a few minutes. Okay, bye. Hey! Hello. Hey, Jordan, how are you? Good. Good. Are you ready to tan? Yeah. Go, Mom. Seeing Jordan, I know that she's very good competition for Emily. You've done this before, right? She's a good little competitor. This isn't going to be any kind of an easy competition this weekend at all. How old are you, Emily? I'm nine. You're nine. Emily and Jordan, I feel, are pretty well matched. Mine's been calling me. Good luck. But I figure everybody in the pageant is Jordan's competition. I think I have a good chance of winning with Little Miss Perfect because I'm ready for anything they throw at me. So thank you. Thank you. Everybody gets a pixie stick. I think that Jordan is a big competition, but I think I could do really good against her. Bye. Bye, Jordan. We'll see you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye. Even though it, it's supposed to be fun and have a good time, we're all here for the same reason. We're all here to win. Well, I really wish you wasn't eating a pixie stick because that means you're going to keep me up all night. I love your new pictures. They're awesome. My name is Michael Galanis, and I am a pageant director, coach, mentor, and friend. And I am hosting a pageant called Little Miss Perfect. What number is that? Number 13, Miss Carmen. About 15 contestants here competing for the title, and uh, we're excited, we're organized, and uh, let the games begin.
Jordan, do you remember how to stand for interview? How do you stand for interview? Like this, but you can't see. Okay. You're not going to stand with your legs all sprawled out there like you did last time, are you? No. No. Okay. Look at her eyebrows. I've noticed that her eyebrow hair was thinner here than it is here. I'm not really a morning person. It's probably you were sitting with your head lopsided again. I'll stand. Yeah. There's a lot of young ones here which is kind of weird because normally she's one of the youngest. It would be kind of fun today to actually see her as one of the big kids in the group and not one of the little tiny ones. Okay, you'll go look at your step in the mirror real quick. Yes. I have a knee, too. <laughs> so I'm starting to get excited because the pageant is almost beginning to start. Jordan just saw her hair in the mirror and she's not happy. It's so ugly. It's pretty. This is a new hairstyle for Jordan. She's never worn it this way before. Take a deep breath, okay? It'll be okay. You look good. If she goes up there and messes up, then that just opens the door for everybody else. So she's got to be on top of her game when she walks out on the stage the very first time. Are you ready? She's not real comfortable because it's a different hairstyle for her. I'm not sure that she's feeling it. I'm not used to my hairstyle this way, and I think it's ugly. Come on, join us, Emily. Right behind, right behind Trinity. Emily, she's always done very well with the interview. She's all, that's always been one of her highest scoring events. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Little Miss Perfect Round of Applause. We've got some divas in the house that are ready to sparkle, that are ready to shine. We've traveled near and far to come and all for one piece of hardware, the title and crown of Little Miss Perfect. My name is Michael, and I will be the Julie McCoy of this love boat. I'd like the judges to perhaps take their seats in the house. David Gilbert in the house. Miyasa Zanucha, let's hear it from Miss Miyasa. Our final judge, Stevie Melanson, come on down, dude. We are ready to begin the on-stage question. The on-stage question does account for one-third of each young lady's total score. We're looking for on-stage poise, articulation. Is she having a good time? Is she speaking from the heart? Is she telling the judges what she thinks? On stage interview, I don't know what the question will be, but hopefully the judges will like me. Let's hear what contestant number one has to say, Jordan Adcox. Tell us what your favorite holiday is and what you love to do on that holiday. My favorite holiday is Christmas because I get to see all my family and friends and this Christmas, I get to go with my friend Amber to her ski condo. Ski Bunny says hers. This is Jordan Adcox. I think I answered the question well, but I didn't make the judges laugh. Tell us, Hope, do you have any pets? Dog. You have a dog? Tell us about your favorite toy. Baby dolls. I like to play with them because they're pretty and I like them. Awesome. Well, this is Destiny. Alice, she loves her dolls. 